Okay, we're going to do Unit 2A, Section 2, the coordinate plane. Let's draw a coordinate plane and let's label the parts. This should be a review for most of you. Um, so I'm hoping we just need to spend a little bit of time practicing. Remember, this is going to be your x-axis and this is going to be your y-axis. This is quadrant one. And this is one of the few places that we still use Roman numerals, quadrant one. And the X and the Y are positive in quadrant one. Quadrant two the X is negative and the Y is positive. Um, quadrant three, both the X and the Y are negative. And then quadrant four, the X is positive and the Y is negative. There's also one more thing you need to make sure you're aware of, and that's the origin. This is where we start counting. This is called the origin, and it's where X and Y are both zero. So that's zero, zero. Let's just do one or two small practice problems, and then the rest you're going to do on your own. You might need to pause this if I'm going too fast, but I'm going to do an example problem. Let's just graph these couple points. Let's graph 4, 3. Let's call that A. Point B, we'll call negative 2, 5. C, let's call that 0, 2. D, uh, negative 3, negative 7. E, 7, negative 4. And then let's go F as uh, 5, 0. Okay, some of you know how to do this already, so you probably don't have to watch it all the way through, but let's just make sure you do. And you're going to get lots of practice for this. Okay? Remember, the first number is your x, and the second number is your y. You want to start at 0, 0. So let's do the first one, 4, 3. So you start at 0, 0, and you go in the x direction, direction positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you go in the y direction, 3. Whoops, Let, let's not do it that way. Can, can, uh, okay, let me fix that. So we're going to start at the origin. We're not going to make a mark. We're just going to start at the origin, and we're going to count 4 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3 is the y direction in positive, 1, 2, 3, and that's our first point, and so I'm going to put an A there. Again. We start back at the origin, and we count negative 2. So that's in the x direction. So we go left 2, and then we go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I knew to go up because it was a positive 5, and there's my b. c starts at the origin, but we don't move in the x direction at all. We only move 2 in the positive y direction. And so that would be c. d, we're moving both negative x and negative y, so that we're going to move 3 to the left and then down 7. And that is d. e is moving 7 positive, so we start at 0, 0, and we go over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but then we go down 4. I think I miscounted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and down 1, 2, 3, 4. I went down because it was a negative. And that's E. And then the last one I chose was F. And that's at 5, 0. So that means we go 5 to the right from the origin, but we don't move in any direction Y because Y is 0. And so that's my F.